Hey guys, it's David from Modern Press. As you know, we have been talking about the new 2026 RAV4 for a while now. And you can see the RAV4 plug-in hybrid just went through. That's the GR Sport one. But I have the normal RAV4. This is the limited model with uh, base engine, which is the same for all RAV4 except for plug-in hybrid model. It has a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine with the hybrid system. This is a fifth gen. But I want to know how this thing feels on a test track, on the sort of slalom course we have right behind me. So you might see some cars uh, racing in the background here. But let me take the RAV4 take it on the track, go through the slalom, do emergency braking, and see how the 2026 RAV4 might perform under some severe conditions. Not something that we would do on a car like this, because this is meant to be a daily driver, meant to be a family hauler, it's supposed to be a comfortable car, and it really is comfortable. I'm really curious if this thing can handle some really tough cores and some tight turns and do some emergency maneuvers. So let's take this on the track and let's see how it goes. So I'm taking the 2026 RAV4, this one is limited. So this is the normal hybrid engine, not the plug-in hybrid. And I'm gonna take this through a slalom course and a bit of a basically uh, kind of track type uh, course and see how the thing performs around twisty corners and uh, see how it also breaks. I'm gonna do a full emergency braking. Let's see how the thing handles. So as you guys know, the 2026 RAV4 is all new and it has gone through some major changes, radical transformation, I might even say. Although it's still based on the same TNGA K platform, so it's not uh, brand new or all new underneath, but of course, all the body and the equipment and everything is all changed. And even the hybrid system is fifth generation, so that's all changed as well. And by now you've seen many, many videos, but I'm pretty sure you haven't seen a video about RAV4 on a, on a test course like this. So let me show you how that goes. I'm gonna, so I was going a little bit slow now, now I'm gonna go much faster, okay? All right, so first I'm going through the slalom course. This is quick turns. And wow, it's actually pretty, pretty good for a crossover, TNGAK platform crossover that's sharing the platform with many other SUVs and models within Toyota. Wow, it's pretty flat. Now, I don't have uh, the previous version of the RAV4 for comparison, but based on my experience doing this, this is pretty amazing. So let me do kind of emergency braking. Yeah, braking feels good, solid. Beautiful ride, actually. Really comfortable and smooth, uh, which is a trademark of the new RAV4. But now taking around this test course, I'm also pretty impressed because it stays really flat. Unlike some SUVs that tend to lean a lot, this one doesn't. Okay, so second round, I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. So again, through the slalom course, hopefully you can see it okay. Stays really nimble, flat. Wow, it's not a sports car, but that's darn good for a crossover in affordable price range here. So I'm going through really uh, tight turns. I'm gonna speed up now and then do a full braking. I'm gonna do full braking right now. Brake. Wow, quiet. Man, that's amazing. That is shockingly good for compact slash mid-size SUV. Okay, so this is a very sharp turning radius. I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. Oh yeah, it stays flat. Okay, so one more one more round. Uh, this time I'm gonna go as fast as I can. And let's see if this uh, 2026 20 round four can handle it. So much faster speed, really quick around the cones. Wow, I shouldn't talk too much while doing this. That is impressive. That is very impressive. That is rivaling some sporty cars that I've driven before on this uh, track. Let me do full speed. I'm up to 80 kilometers, almost 90, and full brake. Wow, now the ABS came on. You can hear that. Beautiful, beautiful performance, actually. All right, last, uh, last lap here around this chicane really tight corners again really flat beautiful amazing amazing performance by a humble RAV4 on a test track and it handles really really well so as you can see I just finished taking this RAV4 around the track some pretty tight corners emergency braking emergency maneuvers and you know what I'm pleasantly surprised that this thing can even complete the course because it's meant to be a family hauler, it's a softer, more cushy type of vehicle in a sense that it has a very comfortable ride, great NVH for 2026, 
but I was curious how they think might handle the uh, the track type slalom course and it handled like a champ I'm pretty surprised it's definitely not a sports car and I couldn't go very fast but it stayed pretty flat it cornered well it didn't lean too much like I was expecting because many SUVs and crossovers lean a lot around corners but this one is uh, obviously based on a car platform not a track platform so it's already stable to begin with but I feel like they made some substantial improvements to the suspension uh, all the tuning of the suspension also the combination with the different type of tires and you know what it really handled very well very predictable the steering felt accurate the car went exactly where I pointed and it's pretty impressive for a pretty humble RAV4 which is meant to be kind of everyday driving car so I'm really curious what you guys are thinking about the RAV4 this is the normal RAV4 not the plug-in hybrid this is the limited model so it is a higher grade it's very comfortable and very quiet NVH is excellent you'll drive this and wonder why you would need to pay more to buy the Crown Signia or to buy a Lexus model because it's pretty darn quiet and almost feeling luxurious it doesn't look luxurious in terms of design inside or out but it feels really comfortable right up there with the same kind of feeling you get from Lexus NX or maybe even the RX so I can only imagine that this RAV4 will be amazing seller again it's gonna beat all expectation in terms of sales chart because it's more comfortable it feels good it even handles pretty good as you've seen price is right it's all hybrid or plug-in hybrid wow it looks better than ever so why would you not buy the RAV4 if you're in the market for a crossover of this type of course there are many other competitors the Honda CRV is also excellent choice I think the Honda CRV handles even better than the RAV4 and they also offer hybrid but no plug-in hybrid then there's a Nissan Rogue which doesn't handle as well but also pretty good value and you got many other entries entries from Hyundai Kia and so forth but when it comes to high resale value uh, quietness and NVH which is noise vibrations and harshness and just overall value for the money and top performing hybrid system well you can't go wrong with a new generation RAV4 and as I demonstrated now it can even handle some tough uh, test course pretty good as well if you enjoyed my video please give me a thumbs up make some comments and if you haven't done so yet would you kindly subscribe because many of you guys watch my videos but are not subscribers and that could be truly helpful for me until next video I'm signing off for now thank you so much